What is up, everybody? This is the Wax Man, and I'm coming to you live from Orlando. I had another mail day. I got stuff from CJ. I got stuff from Missouri Cards, and I got stuff from Big K. I tell you, it was really nice uh, to be able to go into these uh, channels and to be able to get some really nice cards. Uh, the card community is an awesome community. Uh, there's trading going on. There's uh, just, hey, I want you to have this card because I know it's important to you going on. Um, so what we'll do is this is we're going to start over here with uh, Coach K. Now he has, from time to time, he'll have auctions. So I was able to pick up these three rookie cards from the 1978 rookies. And my dog's barking a little bit. We got a little bit of a storm in the area, so he's a little nervous. Uh, this this card right here was one of the very first cards. Now, even though this, I'm replacing my original because my original one does not look like this. There we go. This one is in so much better shape. My other one is so beat up. So I'm I'm finally a you know, able to get one, and this one, you may say, man, that's that's messed up, I said, no, this is in great shape compared to mine, but Del Murphy, his card, it was the very first card, uh, one of the very first cards I got, and that's what, it really endeared me to Dale Murphy, um, what a great player, uh, one, one of the, I think one of the best players ever as an ambassador to the game, um, you didn't have to worry about him losing his cool. You didn't worry about a lot of things. This guy was just a hard-nosed worker. There's Bo Diaz, Lance Parrish, Ernie Witten. I know all four of these names. So these were all players uh, that were successful in their own right. So it's nice to be able to pick that up. And I got a, a nice deal in the auction. Then here's Jack Morris. I, he's like, he just kept going with the theme. So I was like, okay, I'm going to keep picking him up. You know, they're they're a little worn, but man, they're just so such nice shape compared to what we keep finding uh, in a lot of, in, in the LCS. And then here's Garth Org, Danny Oliver, Lou Whitaker. Uh, I know those three players. Uh, Sam, I don't, I don't think he was successful. Um, Dan Oliver was a decent enough player. Uh, Garth Org was a nice utility player for the, the Blue Jays. And then there's Lou Whitaker, excellent, excellent, excellent second baseman many years in the league nice I wanted to show that and then this over here this box uh, you know I, I have a lot of successes in uh, winning things and uh, and I say a lot of successes because if you don't put yourself in uh, giveaways you, the chances the chance for you to get something is really zero so it's it's not a major name. His name is Lewis Robert. And then here is the JSA authentication. And uh, just another auto ball. And, and I'd say just another, but I mean it with respect. And then here, of course, is the JSA sticker. And let's see, do I have it on the right side? It looks like it. There you go. Yeah. So this is Lewis Robert uh, he has an opportunity to do well, a younger player. Um, so I'm excited to get this uh, just because, you know, somebody cared enough to want to uh, make sure that when he did his contract, he said, yeah, I want to I do autographs for people. You know, I want to get close to them to get close to the game and, and have a, a part of me to share with others. So it's kind of beautiful that I could get this. So we'll just do, we'll do this. We'll just set this right here so we can... See it. We'll do is we'll swap this out. There we go. And I'll just move his cards out. These cards out there. And then over here on my right, I've got uh, Missouri cards, vintage. So I'm going to share with you what uh, uh, some nice cards that we've got. Um, we've talked about the fact that some of these are, I have doubles, which I'm fine with because I know that there's others out there that need some of these cards. So shoot me an email. It'll be in the description below. Waxman 68 cards. Let me know. If there's any of these cards you need to help complete your set, always love that that patch on the Cubbies. Uh, John Moreland, uh, here's Ken Reynolds, 72s. 
Dave uh, Giusti. I, I, you know, I, I have a cousin named Gusky, so I'm not sure how they would pronounce that because there's an I in the front. Here's Gates Brown, Frank Lindsay, Fritz Peterson, Steve Ranko, Daryl Porter. And here's a nice little traded uh, Ross uh, Grimsley. And if you notice, um, outside of the normal printing errors, uh, and when I say printing errors, I'm just referring to ink issues. Look at the corners on these things. It's just phenomenal cards. And, um, you know, these are more cards to add to the set. Uh, a couple of these are, are doubles. But here's a new one. Bill Matlock, Ted Simmons, Manny Sanguin. Manny Sanguin was an excellent player for Pittsburgh for many, many years. And uh, he was on the team when they won the World Series in 79. It's really nice to be able to, to see somebody be successful. Here's uh, Rennie Stennett. I believe he was on the team then. I can't, you know, can't really remember completely, but I remember watching them play uh, and, and the success that they had. And so here's some of the, the nicer cards. Uh, we've got them in the top loaders. Here's Orlando Cepeda, Red Sox. Beautiful, beautiful card here. We'll just do this. Show you this card better. You know, a little piece of uh, card in there, but it's okay. A little thread. But look at the condition of this card. Missouri card, I tell you what, what, what a blessing it was to come across him and to, to see what great cards we can get from him. And here's a 1974 infielders Ron Cash, Jim Cox, Reggie Sanders, uh, Bill Matlock. Uh, you know, he was an excellent player for many years. Uh, another great player. I really was happy to get this rookie card. Here's Tommy Harper and Lou Brock, stolen base leaders. It's starting to rain now in the area. It's kind of rare that we, you know, we've been, this is the time of year where we have what's called our uh, dry season. So for about a month, it really doesn't rain here in Florida, which most of you guys would be like, what do you mean it doesn't rain in Florida? We know it rains every day. Well, it doesn't rain every day, guys. Here's a beautiful, beautiful card of the St. Louis Cardinals. And um, what they show here is uh, all the different players. So Lou Brock is in this, should be in this picture. Uh, Johnny Mize should be in this picture. Roger Hornsby should be in this picture. You know, so we've got a lot of great, uh, or not, not, I'm sorry, I forget. This is, I was looking to the left, not to the right. I forget, this shows the leaders. So I know that um, Missouri has a pet peeve about this too, that, they don't show their current players it just shows older players so you really would have to to take your time let's see if we can zoom in no it wants to zoom in on itself but Lou Brock's going to be in this picture that one that one is for sure so then we have Steve Carlton of the Phillies National League ERA look at that one nine one point nine eight Louis Tiant you don't hear a lot about him unless you are in the Red Sox area. Uh, 1.91 ERA. He was just a phenom on, on the mound. And you can see he's an older gentleman here, just like Steve. And, and these guys just could, could throw the ball. You didn't want to face either of them as a batter. Here's Joe Torre, Willie Stargell, Hank Aaron, uh, National League batting leaders. This is in the 72 set from 1971. Um, Josters, I love you, man, but uh, I, I just I can't throw this checklist to you. I definitely need it for my set. What a beautiful, beautiful condition. You know, no marks. Beautiful card. Here's Tug McGraw, another one who was a very good uh, pitcher. I remember him more for being on the Phillies than I do uh, being on the Mets. But yet he was, you know, he was a successful pitcher. Uh, he's having some issues here, but the Mets he, he didn't have a lot of support then. But if you go to '69 when they won the World Series, look, nine and three, threw for 225, 317. It, it is somewhat respectable to say that somebody has a, a three ERA, because when you look at some of the years, some of the the leaders were around two or around three for the for the league. So here's a Roger Maris. And Frank Robinson, most valuable card from the 75 set. Here's a beautiful card that we, that we came out with one of the packs that we opened because uh, Missouri has nothing but vintage. Uh, that I, even though he has other stuff too, I just I always talk vintage, vintage, vintage because if you haven't had a chance to hold 
any of these cards in your hands, uh, you're missing out. And I'm talking the quality of cards that we get. And then this was my first uh, Cy Young, the all-time victory leader, 511 wins. Isn't that crazy, guys? 511. Walter Johnson, no slouch. Grover Cleveland, uh, Christy Math Mathewson, Warren Spahn. I mean, we all talk about Warren Spahn, right? But look at that. Warren Spahn, 363, but look at Cy Young. And that's why there's an award given out every year now called the Cy Young Award. So those were the vintage that I got from Missouri. I didn't get anything uh, different except one thing. Paul was, uh, I call him just Paul. There's just Paul. There's Paul Dyke and, and I think Paul R. I, I can't remember everybody. There's so many of the Pauls there. Um, but he was really nice, and, and I can't believe he did this, and I feel like I've got to send something to him, uh, Joshua Dobbs, rookie. Oh, man, I'm just so excited to get this card to add to my Steeler collection. I, you know, and man, this is the kind of card I should have just had it sent in to be graded. It's just a beautiful card. I'm so excited about this kid. I'm um, looking forward to when he is finally, you know, if we can keep him on our team and the time comes and he can step up, we have a, a real nice chance with his potential, keyword potential, to win a few Super Bowls. So I'm looking forward to seeing what he's going to bring to the table. These cards here, wow, beautiful cards. Uh, CJ's, I was in his uh, his break. I, I just, we talked, we always talk about value. What kind of value can you get um, for what you're buying, the amount of money you're spending? I really feel I outdid myself, and I wasn't even the one that was successful. And I, would, I didn't have the best hits, but... I was just so thrilled to get these cards. Uh, it's just beautiful cards. And let me show you the backs. You know, so we've got uh, the backs look really nice, real nice and crisp cards. I think the formatted nicely. Here's Mookie Betts, uh, Kevin Kramer, uh, Bryce Harper, nice card. Uh, here's Syndergaard. Now it's really nice when you get into here, Mitch Haniger. You can see we've got some parallels. Uh, what was really nice is when I started getting them together. Uh, as you can see, and look here, here's a, uh, I don't know if that's the rainbow parallel, but man, that's a beautiful card. Um, none of these cards seem to be numbered. Uh, I could be mistaken. I just didn't see any numbers on them. Uh, but they're still rare based on the uh, parallel. Here's Real Muto. So you can see I've got some really nice cards from that break. So I really feel that uh, I didn't pay enough money for this break. I feel like I stole. <laughs> I stole from him, you know. And let's see. I've got a lot of these, so that's why I'm gonna take. I wanted to show you guys just the beautiful cards. And Nemo uh, and I. And look at this. I got three different Nemos. Chris Archer. You know, the Trevor Williams, we'll call it the Trevor Williams story. No, just joking. Andrew Benatendi, look at that. Nice parallels, look at that. I got four different ones from him. Uh, Beltre, Sale, you know, you know, they got a good deal. I think Boston did. They, you know, I was reading up on that actually earlier today. So Boston wanted to make sure that they could use some of their prospects to get a good deal on getting Chris Allen, which was really a bonus for them. Let's see, Joey Gallo, Cano, Edwin Diaz. Uh, he got lit up the other day really bad, but uh, this a young kid. He's going to recover. He's going to come back and be extremely successful. Sheffield's rookie. Here's David Wright. His parallels, beautiful cards, just beautiful cards, period. Here's Chris Sale Brilliance. Um, <clears throat> Mookie Betts. As you can see, the Red Sox happen to be another one of the, the teams that I was able to pick up in that draft. I like the way he does that snake draft to, to do the cards. It's beautiful. It allows you really a good opportunity to get some teams. Ken Griffey Jr. Here's Chris Sale. Another parallel. Another par parallel to Corey Dickinson. I think these are, yeah, these ones are going to be numbered out at 199. 
Corey Dickerson. And then this one here would be Tom Seaver. Well, beautiful. You know, it's almost like a, I call it the disco card. Just a really kind of neat. You know, these are more like the disco cards. Sorry. Yeah, these are the disco. I call these disco. And then Tom Seaver is going to be um, out of 299, number eight. So some really nice cards. If you guys have an opportunity, incredible CJ. I, you know, a lot of us call him Coach K, but he's Big K. Uh, you'll find uh, they will be in my description below as part of the card crew. And so is Missouri Cards. Just a lot of great guys in the community. Um, I'm just going to turn this up a little bit. Uh, there's my Johnny Bench back there. Uh, that bat is for sale. Um, I, if you don't see the link right away in the description of this video, it will be put up. I just, for whatever reason, have misplaced the link. Uh, my son, Lone Zebra, he's the one that has it up on his webpage in, the, in eBay. Uh, so this is the part where I say, guys, I appreciate it. You guys are awesome community. Please, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Help me continue to grow my channel so I can do more giveaways, more things for the community, and at the same time be able to have an upcoming live break. Um, I'll put that in the description. I only have a couple of spots left. Uh, and I tell you, the, 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 this has just been a real wonderful roller coaster ride. And I call it roller coaster because uh, I may not always get great hits, but you guys are along the ride along for the ride with me and I love it. I love the fact you guys love, you know, you're commenting. It makes me feel good to see your comments and sometimes I may go through just go like and then heart and then you would not know it but I actually go back through and I, I read a lot of the comments you guys make a second time and maybe even a third time because in the moment I may not have a comment but then down the road I will. I, I really love the opportunity to interact with you guys like I have been. That said, guys, you know, love the one you're with. Make sure you let them know that you care about them. Um, show them by doing things for them. Uh, you'd be, it's amazing how many times uh, somebody's like, you know, I don't want you to do anything for me. And so then out of the clear blue, you do something. And they may say to you, hey, what, whoa, wait, you never do this. So what did you do wrong? And I've had that happen. I've been married a very long time. Like, no, I just saw this and I, I just wanted to get it for you. You know, and some people, they don't show it as much how much they appreciate it. But you still do it. Why? Not because they appreciate it, but because you appreciate doing it for them. And that's the key. Wax is out.